folks. Celtic Nerd here bring you a not so nerdy video. Oh god. Sorry folks, I am not long awake. Uh, but I want to do this video just as, you know, uh, partially as a, oh, uh, that's probably just my phone, let me know, Twitch. Um, <laughs> uh, sorry, yeah, I wanted to do this video because um, last night there was a very good example of uh, service. And again, like, uh, the reason why I upload the videos to of Loosebore up onto uh, YouTube and Twitch is to try and you know raise awareness of this fantastic sport slash community. And one of the things uh, sorry the three things about Loosebore are like sorry the three main rules of Loosebore are service, care, respect. And la service is you know basically we're all there to help each other out like you know we all we train together like there are certain rules w that we d we follow uh, to, uh, in order to help each other you know improve which is part of the service aspect and this today I'm going to talk about uh, two examples of um, I'm going to talk about uh, what's two examples Yes, yes it was. Two examples and maybe a slight bit of care um, of like that I got yesterday. Like when doing techniques I struggle with uh, holding the technique. When we when we're doing our demonstrations, when we're doing revisions, we're asked to you know our instructor will say, do a lateral destral. Yeah. You know, we would do it. And then we, we would hold it while our while the instructor goes up and down, making sure everyone's you know has the right footwork, has the right uh, you know end motion. And I tend to struggle with that, like uh, especially with my knees. And a great example of service was well, something I did not think about. It's something that me and um, me and uh, my friend Mark. You now this was the person who did the service to me last yesterday. Uh, me and him had the idea of to help us with the form to spring step. We did we did, we called it the street fire because and apparently it it started uh, other loose, loose uh, groups started doing it uh, like I think um, someone told me that like people in this UK started calling it that as well. But basically, you would bob. Um, backwards and forward like like a like a you know a 2d side scroller uh fight game and we did that to help with the thing i never thought about implementing anything like that in form one but uh, my friend mark he's like well if if it's be if it's staying still that is is when it starts hurting why not try you know sort of swaying you know or like Doing sort of similar motion of, I didn't feel like <sighs> bouncing like what the way you do with the spring step would help with form two because sorry with form one because form one is steady and it's whatnot. But I started you know just sort of moving ever so slightly and you know, like sideways and forward uh, different angles, um because I figured that helped that would help with form one in the sense of okay I need to go back. I sort of swaying backwards again like it's sort of like the way with the spring step I need to spring backwards bounce back um, either way the motion did really bloody help like oh my god <laughs> um, I went from having to drop to my knee <laughs> like you're taking knee um, during the like after a couple of times to being able to just hold the technique or hold my guard stand um, doing nothing for quite a bit longer and so like again that was it's a that is a great example of you know service because he saw I was struggling to do a, a part of loose board he, he was like hey you know you, you should try doing this and you know it, it, to help you out now another great example is apparently 
I got into a nasty habit of transitioning from a lateral destro into a lateral sinistro by by bringing my hands up and then transitioning like that which if I do it very fast you know ends up like there's several things wrong with that as you can see like for one it, it blocks my eyesight so I lose sight of my opponent I don't know what my opponent's doing and uh, on reflex uh, some of my lateral eyes were coming up uh, too high because on reflex you know see like right there like my it's it's at my eye level where it should really be chest level so um again I, this was something that I was um, I was not uh, aware of again a great example of service was him pointing that out to me uh, thank God and so during uh, honey sparring while I was practicing my transitions from form one into form two and you know vice versa and whatever I you know and during the exercise I spent the day practicing you know transitioning uh, from now I don't do it like this um, it's, it's a bit awkward but like I transitioned so that it would be it was more the blade the only thing that will obscure my vision at all was the blade you know and it, and spend that time like spending that uh, day practicing that um, like again oh I was so thankful for because um, but now that I'm aware of my mistake and the fact that I will practice, I'm gonna practice, you know, transitioning that way. Yeah, you know, keeping my hand, keeping my hands at chest level. Um, it's gonna speed up very quickly my defense because again, there, there's times where uh, I, one of my big issues, uh, <laughs> a good number of times when I get uh, hours is when my opponents, uh, you know accurately uh, see where I'm going to attack they step a certain way and then they counter attack so if, at least now when I'm transitioning from my lateral rally to my lateral rally destro to a sinistro and vice versa uh, I'll be able to see my opponent about to uh, do just that and hopefully I'll have because they're at chest level I'll have a much quicker reaction time to transition into a block or even cancel my attack like so, basically, like, stop my attack when I need to. So uh, that was something I am um, gonna. That, that's something I'm gonna be practicing with, uh, going forward. Like, and again, it's a great example of service, and it's a good example of why, even after you do finish, uh, even if you finish your exam of form one, you still need to practice it. And it's one of the reasons why I am glad I st um, that we go over. Uh, we go over previous forms like so I just wanted to make this video just to highlight like service basically um, we also did a very fun video so we did we did a very fun exercise uh, teaching precision and control uh, I struggled with it uh, because I tend to go very fast or I end up going too slow so like it's it, it's trying to get to that sweet spot um, for me uh, it's a fun exercise um, the instructor I was doing with was a bit too e went too easy on me because like um, my OCD is like no no I'm supposed to make full contact with the, just the right amount of speed and control so that I hit the ball but I don't knock it out of his hands but I kept in my opinion I kept stopping too soon um, and uh, like yeah Ugh. so I want unfortunately I wanted to do the exercise on the video because it's a fun looking exercise um, someone said you know get to him take a video and I looked at the sort of like, can I? <laughs> he said, yeah. And uh, so I got a video of it. Unfortunately, I um, could not because I was holding the camera. And just as I was like, hey, can someone hold the camera so I can, you know, I can get some footage of me doing it? Um, you know, 
that's when the alarm goes off for us to do some sparring and I was just like mm, okay um, because like I would have enjoyed if I did a more intensive video on it I would have loved to add some you know what was to m me and other people like because it was it's a fun exercise you know and it's fun seeing it like one of the things I found fun about it was trying to go so start try and see how long you, I can go without uh, messing up because it is a real difficult I find it as a, a real difficult um, exercise uh, but anyway so uh, but yeah no, um, uh, I might as well give a quick um, trying to as I, as I said because of the knee team that's an example of care uh, I, I, I partially team because like he saw that I was you know in pain and like so I'm, I'm trying to think of another example of care um, well care is basically we we don't we, we set out to not hurt each other which is why we practice um, our techniques and try and practice doing them um, without injuring uh, other people like we we're not trying to cleave through our opponents we're just trying to simply uh, tap a certain body parts to get the O um, then respect is like <laughs> it, respect should be self explanatory <laughs> and treat everyone with respect that's it's, again it's uh it's right there like the only ones I really feel should ever ha be explained is service and care because respect should be just self explanatory um, if, you, if you're not respecting someone clearly you're not doing that real right um, you should always try and be nice <laughs> um, but yeah uh, um, again I just want um I don't know if my friend would be will, would be would be okay with me. Uh, obviously, you know, giving out their name, so I'm that's why I'm just going to refer to him as my friend. But like again, if if you're watching this, thank you for you know doing both service and care uh, in helping me grow as a little sport as a little sport athlete, and yeah. And I just thought this, this was a very good example of service and care. And I just wanted to make a video about it. Anyway. I will do some Kingdom Hearts videos today. Um, I will be uploading the fun exercise onto my uh, YouTube. Because it is a fun exercise. And I just really enjoy it. Um, I just wish I could go, I could have gotten into the... Uh, I, uh, I could have gotten... Uh, got me in the video because like mind you a part of me would have gotten my, in my head which may, would possibly would have made me end up knocking the ball out or possibly hitting my uh, the instructor's hands which would have, would have, would have made their own pressure ups but again it would have been funny and it, it, again it's 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 fun exercise like, oh, you know what, I'll do a whole separate video on that yeah I'll add commentary to that video I'm going off topic tangents. So, this is the Celtic Nerd signing out. One name, one sky.